Mysterious Geis, a sad story of tragedy, injuries, and off-the-field troubles. Darius Geis grew up in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, in an area nicknamed The Bottom for its high crime rate and its high poverty rates. In 2003, early on to Darius' life, his father was killed after an argument at Denny's erupted which emotionally and mentally scarred Darius for the rest of his life. He quickly shifted his focus onto football to escape his situation at home and in his community and proved to be a star in the making in high school, using his anger and emotions to play with passion. After switching from public schooling to a Catholic high school, Darius was heavily bullied in this new environment, dealing with racism and attacks early on as a freshman and sophomore, adding fuel to the fire Darius would work even harder at football and gain a reputation for being the 5'11 running back who ran with anger, aggression, and a reckless abandon, ending up leading his team to a 9-2 record his senior year on the back of his 21 touchdown carries. After receiving a scholarship from LSU, he quickly accepted it, fulfilling a promise he had made to his father before his death. Fast forward to Darius' sophomore season at LSU, where after a year of being the backup to Leonard Fournette, he finally got his chance to shine as the starter as Fournette went down with a foot injury. And after his first start, where he put up 155 yards and a touchdown, Geis never looked back, putting together two straight 1,000 yard seasons, gaining the national reputation for being the meanest runner in all of college football. Darius started stacking up huge game after huge game, rushing for over 250 rushing yards twice, putting him in elite company with guys such as Bo Jackson and Herschel Walker as the only players in SEC history with two games of rushing for more than 250 yards. After sustaining a pretty serious leg injury his junior year, Geis came back against Ole Miss and put up 276 rushing yards, being the only player in SEC history with three games rushing over 250 yards. Darius Geis declared for the 2018 draft after his junior season, expecting to be a first round pick. During the pre-draft process, however, Darius's draft stock fell as multiple teams uncovered character issues with Geis dating back to his high school days, as teams saw his potential to get into legal trouble, and multiple teams stated that Geis was immature, lazy, and dishonest, which were all quickly shot down by Darius shortly after. Geis even got into a verbal altercation with Eagles GM Howie Roseman, which caused Darius's public perception to take a big hit. After all of this, Darius was drafted by Washington in the second round of the draft, but soon after suffered a torn ACL in a preseason game. In 2019, he had limited action, as in week one against the Eagles, he tore his meniscus, where he returned to the team quickly spraining his MCL, ending his season. Flash forward to 2020, where Geis ran into a whole slew of legal troubles, getting into three separate domestic violence cases, and ultimately was arrested on charges of strangulation, assault, battery, and destruction of property, which led to his release by Washington on August 7th. Darius Geis has so much potential, and was one of the most fun running backs to watch in college. But with his very serious injury history and the NFL's crackdown on domestic violence cases as of recent, Geis may never get to shine on an NFL football field ever again.